We've brought a bunch of artist palettes out of the Whitney Gallery of Western Art um, closed storage uh, for examination here in the Conservation Lab. So any of these um, clues that you have to how an artist worked helps you determine um, whether a painting is really by that artist or by someone else. So conservators are just now really coming into using the XRF because this portable kind of XRF is fairly new to conservation, maybe five years old. It shoots out an X-ray beam into something and that excites electrons in the elements and then they also emit a specific X-ray for each element. So you can tell if your painting has iron in it or um, zinc or lead. Now it's interesting for us to, to use on paints and paintings and sculpture because if something has cadmium in it, cadmium is a pigment that wasn't really started to be used by artists until the mid 19th century. So if you have a Renaissance painting and it has cadmium paint on it, that's, it either means that it's not a real Renaissance painting or there's been some kind of conservation done on that painting. The Buffalo Bill Historical Center also provides service where we will help determine the identity of certain paintings. So we have a clinic where people bring in, say, a painting that they think is a Remington painting. And um, not only do the curators look at that and, and experts, such as our ex-director who's an expert, but you can also look at the technique of the artist, how they use their brush and their palette knife, and also then what paints they used. So if you have an artist's palette, like this palette, that, is, uh, that belong to Remington, you can actually analyze the paints that are on the palette. It doesn't get much more of a primary source than that. And then analyze the paintings that we have in our collection that we know are Remington's. And that helps the experts if they have a painting that they're really struggling with. We can analyze the paint in that unknown painting and compare the two.